I'm your buckaroo. I want to be, be like you and eat all my food and grow as strong as you are. Oh, man. <laughs> that song makes me think of my dad. It's uh, Been Watching You by Rodney Atkins. So good. So I don't think any of us actively listen to country that often. Uh, it de- there's a we certain moods. There's a certain. It's summertime. Yeah. It, it's every time summertime hits, I, actually, with the exception of this past summer. But this past summer was weird. Yeah. Uh, I instantly turn into a top country's <laughs> top hit. <laughs> like all I'll listen to, with the exception Wait, is of Luke, a cuss word. No, you'll bleep that. It's fine. Yeah. <laughs> With the exception, of, yeah, because I produce this. <laughs> With the exception of uh, Luke Bryan, because I hate that man. He's Every, right. Yeah, no, his songs are so <laughs> milk toast. But uh, yeah, no, <laughs> dude, every summer, and then fall hits, and it's bare tooth all the way. Nice. Yeah. So welcome to uh, episode eleven of Chill Prism Podcast. Ten, but close enough. Is it? Yeah. Yeah. Feels like eleven, I guess. <sighs> Love you guys. Oh, yeah. And we ain't reviewing this cool brew because we, we done reviewed it. Done reviewed it. Done did it. Yeah, I'm drinking a. Uh, speaking of which. Okay, Pilsner. Speaking of cool brew review and yeah. other segments, yeah. listeners, if you want to send me on the email, chillprismpod at gmail.com, fucking make us some intros to some segments. Send them in. Contribute. Yeah, be team players. I mean, we both know music and make music for fun. That's true. Ben records music and recorded the entire intro to the show by himself. With he wrote it, recorded it, and it sounds when I was a teenager. That's amazing. (laughs) But uh, for fun, man, if if you want to send in some stuff, man, help us out. Give us some jingles. Give us a for science theme. Yeah, I would love I would love to hear your take on some four science intros. That'd be fantastic. I, I want to see what the community has. So go ahead and fire us an email at chillprismpod at gmail dot com. We will check it out. Oh, By dude. we, I mean I will make Russ check it out on a regular basis. You don't have to make me. I always check that email. <laughs> I know we haven't released any of these episodes yet, but I still check that email. <laughs> Don't tell them we backlog. Backlog? <laughs> uh, we front log. <laughs> <laughs> Show you my front log. <laughs> you uh, slide so up. I want to uh, come clean about something real quick. Uh-oh. I went to our studio restroom. Yes. Which smells amazing, by the way. Yes. That's your your wife handles doing. that. Yes, my, my caretaker's doing. <laughs> she handles that so well. Um, it's and your after. Parts. <laughs> After <laughs> her farts smell like lavender and lilacs. I don't know why you picked her. Actually, they don't. <laughs> <laughs> they heinous. They haunt me. <laughs> Every single time that she, she one of those occurs, the get, SVU. Dun, dun. She'll get really mad when she hears this. <laughs> so that's as far as I'm going to go. Anyway, I'd gone in there uh, to use the facilities. That I and I was so distracted. You. Like, I was discombobulated. I was disoriented when I'd seen some uh, some wipes inside the toilet. Because it, it, like, took me to another place. Like, that's a Raven moment where I looked off into the distance. I was like, <gasps> <laughs> that I accidentally used your hand lotion that was by the sink as hand soap. And then realized <laughs> that I wasn't actually washing my hands, but lubricating them. <laughs> <laughs> And then I switched to actual soap, so I apologize. I wasted a uh, a healthy dollop of your lotion. I hope it's not expensive. Have you looked at that? No, it's it's not. <laughs> I don't think. I don't care. I don't buy it. Have you looked at that shower curtain? No, never. It is. I looked at I, your vent though a lot. Oh, it's disgusting. No, but continue about the shower curtain. The the shower curtain is like it's so. It was probably bought at like Bed Bath and Beyond or Target. I can't remember which, but it's it's just a bunch of news articles. It's Target in these parts. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's uh, just a bunch of news articles that yeah. are like printed onto this sheet. Are they like murder headlines no, or something? No, but Phil, for a sec, there's one that I have to broadcast. It's so okay. weird. It's it's a bunch of headlines in different languages and all this stuff. But just hold on a sec. I'll get it for you. All right. All right. So, 
ladies and gentlemen, in the toilet, I saw a flushable wipe. I didn't realize. Oh, it it I was I've been corrected. It's toilet paper. But uh, I use flushable wipes on a regular basis. And one of my great friends brought to my attention <laughs> that you're only supposed to flush a flushable wipe once at a time. Otherwise, it will clog <laughs> your sewage and lead to what's called a fatberg. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't know if you know what a fatberg is. But I know guaranteed, just based off of the word fatberg, that you know exactly what it is without any other prior knowledge <laughs> on what a fatberg is. Yeah. It's exactly what you think it is. I'm just not going to contribute to that. I'm back. <laughs> so there's, it's it's just a bunch of collections of headlines, this shower curtain. one okay. of the, the So the first one that I'd like to mention, just to give you an example of what these headlines say. Prime me, yeah. One of them, it's like, uh, it says something... Basely, unlikely hitman, comma, court told, and then it cuts off. Right next to it is a headline that says, Katrina Lee sues over, quotes, sucked mango. <laughs> <laughs> With no context. <laughs> I love that. You got to think, like, the person who put that together knew somebody would be dropping a deuce for an extended period of time. We're talking like 40 minutes. And run out of room on the back of the shampoo bottles of stuff to read. And they would turn to it. Yeah. It's so uh, many it's questions. It's so out of place. <laughs> Everything else is like in Italian and in French. You can't even read it. And then there's one about a hitman and one about a lady suing over what's called a sucked mango. It's a real uh, headline. So so we can actually Google this and yes. find out the crime? I, I don't. I've Googled it before. Let to no avail, I'm assuming. Sues. What's a sucked mango? <laughs> Over. Is this like a Cosby sweater? Sucked. Or a blue waffle? Mango. I just don't, I don't know what it is. And I'm. Okay. You know, you're a brave man for <laughs> looking into it because I don't Sydney know Sydney Morning Herald from Sydney. Sydney, New Australia? New South Wales, Australia. Australia. April 10th, 2018, I think is what it said. Page six. Uh Oh, so this is, it's a, it's. An archived article. Hold on. There's all actually. There's not a lot of information on actually what this is. It's posts. It, it's. This is so weird. It, it, when you Google <laughs> Katrina Lee sues <laughs> over sucked mango, it's people also googling this, trying to figure out what the fuck it means. <laughs> <laughs> but it's what it, vanilla white. Milk toast curtain? Did you get? It's weird. That is weird. It it, it just it, Google listeners. I want homework for you. F- Teach find us out, how to Google. No, <laughs> I want you to fucking deep dive. Figure out what who Katrina Lee is and why she was suing over a so-called sucked mango. If it is appropriate, and probably even if it isn't, no, we will feature it. Especially if it's not. We will feature we it. We will tell cast. you and the rest of the listeners what it is. Just fucking email in. Please enlighten us. Because we are just lost pups seeking the nip, and you are the nip. Help us. I eat nip. Nippy. So, ladies and gentlemen... When Russ walked in, the sight of his hair was like the back of the hair from Freakazoid, the old animation or Anna Animaniac Studio I can guarantee that the people listening to this were born right after An- or Freakazoid stopped airing reruns. <laughs> I don't give a shit. But that happened, and I had thought, just like looking out of the corner of my eye, that he had to- tousled, tussled, I don't know what the word is. Tousled. Tousled. Tussled, Tuh. not to ru- not to like engage in fisticuffs without punching. I'm saying like to like jostle your hair around with your fingers. That would be jostled. There, tousled has to be a word. I no. I can't be fabricating this. There's no way. I'm not a creative person. There's no way I'm that creative that I can just manufacture a word. Okay, so tousled, <laughs> which is a, a combination of to fight your hair. But also to molest it in an aggressive we'll make fashion. A t-shirt about that. <laughs> Tousled <laughs> definition. 
ladies and gentlemen, buy it, buy our merch, patreon.com. Or whatever website so, we decide to sell it on when we toast. Uh, that coupled with the bleach stains on your shirt on your shirt led me to believe that you had the most aggressive dandruff I've ever seen <laughs> in my life. The bleach so, but, stain actually <laughs> this shirt uh was given to me by my wife's uncle who works for Coca Cola. <laughs> oh good God. Because I thought you were gonna say that he like passed away and then I was just an asshole for no, criticizing. It was him. just an extra, extra large and nobody that he was handing out shirts to would take it. <laughs> It was like the only one he had left. He's like, hey, you want a, sh- a monster energy drink shirt? I was like, absolutely. Sure. So he handed it to me. It's too big for me, but I like it. I wear it to work and I wear it when I'm cleaning the bathroom. So this is literally the only, it's my lounging shirt. And so <laughs> the bleach is actually from Soft Scrub. What the fuck is Soft Scrub? It's it's like soft soap? Like the brand? It's like, no, it's it's like the mechanic soap with the beads in it, you know? Oh. But with also with bleach. <laughs> and you use it for cleaning like tubs and sinks and stuff like that that sounds badass it 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 works real well if you don't scrub it right though it just leaves white streaks i will probably leave streaks and stuff so i should not touch it yeah we have a scrubber though a motorized scrubber it's like a dremel the dremel brand no but it's like a giant walking sick or like bow staff bow staff sized dremel fuck yeah but with (laughs) interchangeable scrub brushes on it and it only spins at like fifty RPM. It's not super hardcore, but it was like twenty it bucks defense? on Amazon. Can I put machete blades <laughs> <laughs> on the end of it for home oh, defense? That's something I wanted to get to. You just reminded what? me. I have a question good. for you. This is a good topic. This is a good Do segment. it. Zombie apocalypse. Yeah. Breaks out. Yeah. And I'm surprised that Walking Dead earlier didn't remind me of this. Mm. Uh you have a plan for that? <laughs> What's your plan? Not in detail, not to spoil it or, you know, I, not, I don't want uh, to put you in danger when this happens for looters, but what what, what do you got in store? So Let me tell you why you're wrong. <laughs> um, nine mil is the easiest ammo to come by because no. everyone in their fucking dog right has a, Well, not in stores. But if I can go into someone's home and find their stash because they got bit on the fucking side of the street, then cha-ching. Because everyone in their cat has a 9 mil. Right. So I will have a sidearm 9 mil, something that I can drag through the dirt. As much as I love 1911s, their ammo capacity just Ten isn't round up. mag. Yeah. yeah. So I would keep one of those around just because I appreciate art. For a and that's yeah. it. Yeah. Um. But I would get a high capacity nine millimeter pistol and I would keep upgrading until I find one that fails. So I'd keep two on me at all times until one just determines to be shitty and then back down to the one that I know is reliable. I will manufacture the most efficient muffler possible and keep a motorbike um, because of the fuel efficiency. And I will also keep a katana because I actually know how to use those accurately, know how to keep them sharp and don't have to reload those. <laughs> So, <laughs> I, that was not a plan. That was a stash. Uh, okay, it was part of your plan. Where are you going? What are you doing? You're go, You're bugging out. Where are you going? Do you have a... I'm going to southeastern Oklahoma where the population is so Do you have a specific so place? Do you have a specific area where you will go? Yeah. Yeah, the Kaimishi Mountains in Oklahoma because it's okay. close enough that I can get there. I have an address where I'll be going, where I'll be going. Are you going to save my life right now? No, you're not invited. Let's bleep this. You motherfucker. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's not for me. It's uh, it's uh, for your wife. Well, it's I don't own it. I will own it if this <laughs> ever happens. Because I don't know the guy that owns it. But I know the guy who has permission to be there. Yeah. And we're bugging out there. We've already talked about it if anything happens. So I'm assuming that it's a, like a wide open field? Uh, it's 40 acres of woods. Fuck yeah. With <laughs> mobile homes. At station, hunting blinds at station, and a house that is off the grid as far as electricity goes. So it's completely It's already isolated. there. Yeah, it's completely isolated. It's got a fucking lake. And its own, it has its own power supply? Yeah. It, well, That it, is amazing. It, so it, I'm, all, I'm assuming solar. No, he's got diesel generators. 
Oh, God, but it, it, it's not self-sufficient right now. It, it is capable of being self-sufficient with those diesel generators at this moment if he needed to. And but diesel's it, so efficient that it's sustainable for an extended At the moment, he pays absolutely $0 for the electricity coming in from the power company. Because Please explain he, that to me. They, the power company wanted to run lines through the property. Anyway? They and, needed to. Oh, so and they were piggybacking through his property to another spot that they needed to supply power yeah, to. Yeah, so they were like, we have to. And he's like, no. And he's like, but we have to. We don't have a choice. And they're like, well, give me free power. And they're like, fine. So he has free electricity. I fucking love that. <laughs> and he doesn't live there. So the the power that a property owner has, uh, the property that a landowner has, has been the same for like ever like you become a lord when you own land right we've talked about that in the past yeah. and that immediately means that you have knights under you mm-hmm. like at least in the olden times mm-hmm. for protection and nowadays it means you get to monopolize your land for power companies like they're gonna have to do some gerrymandering bullshit around your property <laughs> unless you say yes so do you want to know my plan no i have a, <laughs> I have a specific time frame where this don't works. tell me yeah, go ahead and tell me. We work at a place that has lots of corrugated boxes that are free for the taking whenever you want them. Corrugated Absolutely. steel boxes. What? Steel? Yard dogs, my friend. What do those haul around? Those aren't free. Oh, uh, they are when zombies start <laughs> happening. Okay. Okay, I got gotcha. you. With our own diesel pumps. Right? I'm about to get some more too. <laughs> So, I already have this plan. When this kicks off, if it ever kicks off, my first text goes out to this friend whose friend owns this property that I will be bugging out to. Nice. He will be coming to this place with mediocre security, hopping in a semi-truck. I will also be hopping in a semi-truck, and we will be hauling ass with as many trailers as said semi-truck will carry. To the Filled other side with all of the resources necessary. Yes, to the other side of this county, oh, to the God, middle of yeah. nowhere, and Makes we will be using hard. the backhoe that this man who owns the property owns and, and is on will, site. Yep, and we will bury these boxes. That's badass. And we will live in there, so you can be loud as fuck in there. Make sure you have proper ventilation, by the way. Absolutely. But that's over uh, time. It's badass. because of the highway system through this county. We will be able to make trips sufficiently back and forth to build an empire of corrugated <laughs> steel boxes around this facility. Dude, I bet that gives your wife such a hard boner. She doesn't know about this. Oh, okay. I mean, she knows that this exists and that me and my friend have talked about it as far as just like this is how we communicate when if ever something kicks off. Because we're both semi-preppers. Really? I mean, I don't have a basement full of canned goods, but I, I but mean, you think about it. Yeah, I think about it, and I'm yeah. I'm somewhat prepared. You know, <laughs> uh, I know where I'm going. I yeah. know what I'm doing. I know who I'm killing, and who I'm taking hostage. <laughs> <laughs> no, not really. <laughs> but I know I know I I have a plan for what's happening. I yeah. know who to trust immediately and who to try and bring in as soon as I can. Episode you know? ten, our paranoia episode. I right? like Dude, this. Like, I like this. this is, a lot. I told you, like. This week yeah. opened my eyes to I can be a, a neurotic person and I don't have to be angry about politics. I can. There are no consequences. Things. Yeah, there's no consequences. <laughs> so <clears throat> we'll call this uh, conspiracy corner, I guess. It's not necessarily a government conspiracy, but we're, we're talking about the end of the world here. So yeah. okay. there's that. I like Plus, the idea. Nine millimeter pistol. That's. I'll get back to that. That's that's good. That's a good idea. You also need to get yourself a high capacity rifle. I agree with that. I just haven't done enough research. Not an automatic that rifle, and it doesn't have to be expensive. Right. See, this is. Where I just want something that I can drop like thirty thousand times, and be into a rock thirty thousand times, and it'll still shoot straight. This is where that's where you're wrong. You are not looking for something that's reliable. You're looking for something to get you from the immediate area that you're in. Oh, but that means I have to buy hold it on, now. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> so the immediate area that you're in when something kicks off, right? You need something to get you from there to the area where your stash is, your bug out bag, right? Right. So that would be like from work to home. That would be your 9 millimeter. From there, you want to get 
you pick up your supplies, including this high capacity rifle or whatever uh, supplies you need. You know, you need something to get you from that area to your bug out area. Porn. Not allowed to be. No, I'm talking about <laughs> weapons here. A very very cheap AR-15 or a that this is demonetized <laughs> or an AK-47. <laughs> drop two hundred dollars. Yeah. On the cheapest thing you can get. All it has to do what? is be... Yeah, all it has to do... $200 will get you in? Yes, absolutely. That is impressive. All you need is something that will fire at least one magazine. Okay. Because once you get to your bug out spot, you lay low. You're prepared that you have the supplies, right? To last you a couple weeks. Till things, till looting, <laughs> till people start to disperse, right? Yeah. Disperse or get turned. That's when you pick up more weapons. It's not quality, it's quantity. You want more than one. You want a stash, a cache, if you will, Yeah. of whatever quality weapons, right? Yeah, and I so, think there's a lot of power to what you said um, regarding the high-capacity rifle because oftentimes if you're in a standoff situation between yourself and another party, not necessarily zombies, just the presence of a fucking rifle hanging over your shoulder. Mm-hmm especially pointed at you, is enough to get you through a a negotiation, if you will. Mm -hmm. So, if you're not looking for a rifle, what you're looking for is a shotgun. 12-gauge shotgun. Nice. Smooth bore, obviously. So, I'm covered there. Yeah. You want something that has a magazine tube that holds probably more than fucking five rounds. So... Okay, I'm not good. <laughs> uh, I mean, and I'm not there. I don't have that either. But I have the rifle, so I have two. But also, we're lying because we don't actually have these things. No, take I've that government. Never owned. A we don't know what guns weapon. are. <laughs> I've seen them on a video game. <laughs> uh, but <clears throat> yeah, a magazine-fed, not a mag tube. Magazine-fed shotgun is your best bet. Yeah. Uh, so like a mo- uh, you can get a. Remington 720 I can't remember it I my dad has it uh it's basically so what I have uh, one of my rifles is a Remington 700 which is <laughs> it's just a <laughs> people start throwing numbers at me in letters it's it's just the model <laughs> number of the Remington it's literally the most cliche bolt action <laughs> rifle that anybody has it's a uh, a 308 round it's it's a hunting rifle right but the platform is so it's like a glock it's so interchangeable everybody because everybody has one everybody makes stuff for them so i could yeah. it's all wood furniture at the moment but if i wanted to i could drop 200 bucks to buy a, a polycarbonate a plastic chassis take all the wood off throw that on there and it'll have a mag well and i'll have more than i think the five rounds that it holds <laughs> right and you can do the same thing with this uh uh uh, the same. The, you can do the same thing with the shotgun that I'm talking about. With most shotguns, most run-of-the-mill shotguns, you can buy whatever. So they're very easy to convert into something that you would need. But I would have to do that before mm-hmm. Zambos. Yes. <sighs> but they're cheap. Shotguns are so fucking cheap. That's okay. your first bet. I already have a shotgun. There you go. But I don't want to molest it. Because it was from a family member. Yeah, that's why <laughs> I'm not going to do that to my <laughs> rifle. But that's what I'm saying is yeah, you have the ability to do that so quickly. But yes, your 9mm, the, the fact that 9mm is so abundant. Yeah. That's perfect. Yeah, and and I, I shoot practice with it. Because I'm an old so. man at heart. Yeah, I I'm totally get that. old cop at heart. <laughs> I, like, I like the dick, the dick size. That's... Implied when you whip out a, a 45. A 45, absolutely. But we're talking 9 um, versus 40. Yeah. And there's a reason why SD9VE and the SD40VE are the two guns for home defense that Smith & Wesson cranked out at such a value. Like, there's reason. Like, because you can just get a hold of it. And yeah, it's, it's not... Like a five-cent gun. <laughs> yeah. And, yeah, the value is there. Yeah, and nobody the wants 40, so it's so cheap. <laughs> Yeah, I may have made a mistake when I purchased the nine, but it no, was under no, the no. assumption that, that there's nine, more abundance of nine millimeters. Yeah, you, you were right on that. I got forty because I'm used to shooting forty. That's all. 
But we can get off of the demonetization talk if you want. <laughs> but I, I did I did wonder if you had a if you've ever thought about that. Yeah, yeah. And since I ride motorcycles, um That's perfect. I can also get dirt bikes to go into all terrain areas and I can have access to spots that trucks wouldn't and I can load them onto trucks um uh, for going to spots. So for scouting, that's what I would go to. I would go for a, a damn near silent motorcycle. Which is the opposite of what I have right now. It's they make I, electric I, motorcycles. That's true, but I okay. Here's the dangerous part. I have so much electrical knowledge in my cranium that I could probably develop a very efficient solar system, a mobile solar system, because those aren't hard, and keep Not one of those running. Right now, I'm talking about the survival shit. Oh yeah. Dude, I'm rocking a solid three inches right now. I'm so fucking hard. <laughs> nice. Um, but yeah, I, I I have I'm I'm so close to it. But I go down rabbit holes. Like when when I purchased my guitar, I was researching all the stuff for it and which model I actually wanted for like uh, a month and a half, and that just beat my girlfriend down to such a high level that she was just like, "Please buy it. <laughs> Please buy it, so we can be done with this chapter of our life." <laughs> Um, so I'm scared to take that turn when it comes to solar stuff, but I definitely see the value. Oh, it feels so good. Yeah, it does. I definitely see the value in solar. I think solar, or sorry, electrical bikes, I definitely see the value in it. And I know that, especially with our uh, industry that we work with right now, I could keep one of those running for an, a, a stupid amount of time. So it's not a matter of, oh, it's new technology. It's going to break down. It's not really new technology. I'd be able to keep it running for a while. I just, in the moments of peace and calmness, devoting the amount of time that I know I'm going to into learning solar and learning the upkeep for a lead-acid battery, a high-capacity lead-acid battery like that, all of that lead acid into one. They don't even... Lithium ion. There you go, motherfucker. They don't even... <laughs> fucking the... The batteries that they put in these electric bikes, they didn't even try lead acid. They Sorry, went, hmm, lithium ion. Lithium ion's better. Let's do that. Let's also think about that. Someone shoots the battery core. I'm going to have to up armor the shit out of the battery box for the bike. Um, because someone lays a bullet in that once well, and my water bottle, alone. my canteen spills into it. Well, hold on. Lithium is a shit show when it hits Then you water. go with a hydrogen-based system. Because if they take you out... <sighs> They go out too. <laughs> <laughs> the Hinden, the Hinden bike. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> Didn't we? Were you there when they were telling us about the hydrogen fuel cell that they were trying to do for our uh, equipment that we use? Not at all. We took a class where they were talking about the batteries. You know what I mean? Okay. The battery guys came in and uh, we asked, like, well, why don't we use hydrogen? I've always wanted to know that from an engineer. Like, why? Because fucking... It's an inefficient fuel source, for sure. Yeah. You fucking... All, water. And there's no way... Water can... If you rip water in half, you have hydrogen yeah, and oxygen. Yeah, I can do it now with a battery. Yeah. Just a lead-acid battery. You just stick the fucking probes in the water. <laughs> and then just rip... And all of a sudden, apart, it's hydrogen. Yeah. yeah. It's... it's uh, What is it called? Uh, it starts Hydrolysis? To, yeah, hydrolysis. It's It's so easy. Yeah. He said that somebody scary. blew up a warehouse and they <laughs> <Yeah>. stopped. <laughs> I was about to say, it's really scary. On accident. So my grandfather didn't have a good understanding of it. And Okay, I love my grandfather. If anyone ever talks shit about him, I'm the only person who's allowed to talk shit about him. Gotcha. I will get so mad. Uh, and even me saying this is just going to provoke more people to try to pick him apart, which I don't care. I have solidarity with my relationship with him. Regardless. He was so gifted when it came to uh, automotive mechanics, but he had no understanding of the electro electronic side of stuff. And he tried to make an electrolysis system or a hydrolysis system in my truck to make it run more efficient because hydrogen can burn in a combustion engine pretty fucking efficiently. That is so <laughs> offhand. It is crazy because now that I know what I know and I know what was in my truck's engine bay, <laughs> that was a fucking problem. 
they were trusting me, a 16 slash 17 year old, to not blow my fucking self up. It's such a volatile substance, water. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you know, if you spit, you stick, you just set raw sodium into water, it goes it to the fire. It just explodes. Yeah, same with lithium. It's just dangerous. It's. Uh, I don't think that I would ever get pure sodium or pure lithium, but that's certainly enough to dissuade me from uh, going with a lithium ion battery you can in my buy motorcycle. Pure sodium on uh, eBay. E- on you can buy it on eBay. Yeah, yeah. It, it's just the thing. It's available. a lab. It's, it's not illegal, yeah. or it, you're not even using it for illegal stuff. You can yeah. fucking throw dry ice in a swimming pool and make a YouTube video, of Mark Rober. Dude, uh, I love Mark Rober so I much. I fucking hate Mark Rober. He's so wholesome. No, he's not. He's so he's, wholesome. He was rich already. And then he went, I'm going to use my riches to scam children into watching videos so I can get more riches. I hate him. Wait, how did he scam someone? Give me the down low. What Everything happened? He, okay, I should say this. Instead of making... Have you ever seen... Do you know Backyard Scientist? Nope. Okay, Backyard Scientist is Mark Rober for the actual person. For the layman? No. Not for the lame man. Mark Rober is Mark Rober for the lame man. <laughs> Backyard Scientist does the same type of bullshit, but he doesn't clickbait. All Mark Rober does is clickbait. He's not creative. He's not fun. He just has the tools to do these things already and the knowledge. He doesn't train himself. He doesn't he learn threw anything. threw shit off of like 10 stories Ooh. in Australia. So did Dude Perfect. And it was incredible. I fucking he hate Mark. He makes a an annual series where he scams package thieves. Yeah, that's why I hate him. I love it. So that much. series is what made me hate him. I love that one specifically. That that's what made me love him even more. So, oh my god, we it's are on such, polar opposites. Yeah, I, this is the dynamic. I want to figure out. Thinking, no, yeah, let's figure this out. Okay, so why? G- give me the why behind. It's hard what's for going me on. to describe, but he's yeah. like, yeah. If Jake Paul were a responsible adult, but with the same ambitions. <laughs> and also in education. Yes. He's just a penis with absolutely no substance. I don't think I've ever seen him rip his shirt off. That's what I'm saying. An adult, a responsible adult, but okay. with the same ambitions. He's clickbait. That's all he does is clickbait. And he saw that the But package- he also doesn't steal from kids and create a false university to... Yes, he does. Try to show them how to make better financial decisions, but okay. are actually worse That's financial why I'd decisions. Say responsible adult, but yes, he does steal from children. But that, I mean, I can say that, like, this guy is Jeffrey Dahmer, but a responsible adult. Like, I don't know. That qualifier He's, right there makes okay. it so hard this for me to. This is what Mark Rober does. Okay. He yeah, yeah, yeah. was a NASA engineer. Yes. Okay. He Badass. stopped being a NASA engineer for I haven't researched the reason. Maybe he got fired. Maybe, Maybe I don't care. Nudes. But in, and used the money that he got from being a NASA engineer. Yeah. To make videos for children about scam or about fucking making a glitter bomb that explodes when you steal somebody's Amazon package, for instance. Stink spray. Don't forget the stink spray. Okay, sure. <laughs> Instead of. <clears throat> doing something to better humanity, he uses his money to make clickbait videos. He doesn't sell the products that he makes because that would be illegal because what he's doing is illegal. And he makes money off of that. So what makes you think that it was illegal? Uh, California is not a uh, dual party consent state. Okay, so the recording aspect of it. Yeah. Okay. That's just one aspect. Okay. Yeah. The other aspects would be uh vandalism, poison. Any like of on these... the case that they were allergic to the substances that were being sprayed yeah, into their he homes. He risks everything. Then the only reason that he these people don't have any grounds to zo- to sue is because they were stealing. They're committing a crime in the process. Yeah. He's not that's as close to but, Batman as I will ever get okay, to see but, in my life. But, and okay. don't steal this listen, from me. Listen, listen, listen. <laughs> Imagine if Jake Paul did the exact same video. <laughs> yeah. He'd get in trouble. I can't say that he would. He would. Well, okay. He probably if, wouldn't he probably wouldn't have coordinated with the cops. 
to ensure the legality. The first like, video like Mark did. Rober didn't coordinate. That's true. With That's true. He probably also um, would have put in, put something on the exterior to. Well, no. Let's take that back because Mark Rober definitely did that. This he certainly enticed saying, people to do Jake it. Imagine Jake Paul did the exact same video. Uh, but I also have to scale it back to the amount of mental capacity Jake Paul has. Jake Paul doesn't do the stuff, the smart or the big stuff that Jake Paul does. He doesn't do it by himself. He has other people that does it for him. Okay, so we can put him on the same level. Yeah. Uh, okay. So imagine Jake Paul had a video that came out, or his brother Logan had a video that came out of him doing the I exact think they're the same, same person, thing. Personally. Yeah, they are. Jake Paul would get in trouble. Why? Because he's a douche. Outwardly. I can guarantee you that if you met Mark Rober at a bar, he would be a dick. A, a He wouldn't go to a bar. <laughs> well, yeah, because he's too good for that. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. I don't think he drinks. I don't know that he's ever uttered three cuss words in his life. No, but he thinks them about you. <laughs> And about the people that watch his videos. I do not like Mark Rober. I will continue to watch the package videos. Because <laughs> they're amazing. No, not because they're amazing. They're because I, it fuels my rage. You want to be mad? Yes. Why? Because that's my thing. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's fair. That that aligns with your personality. So, okay. And speaking of science. Oh, you like that? You like, oh, it like sounds, sounds so good. Uh, yeah. Have you ever heard of the King of Random? Yeah. t Core. Yeah. In how he died? Uh, no. <laughs> Dude. I'm pretty sure that's not a thing. Yeah. Yeah. No, he died a couple of years ago. The... Him and his wife? Okay. So let me read. When was the last? Brian Brushwood is an associated act. Never mind. Okay. I was yeah. Like, I can definitely see him teaming up with him. Cause... Yeah. Uh, the King of Random, T-Core. Grant Thompson is the guy's name. Does that ring a bell? That sounds familiar, yeah. Let me just show you a picture so you get who I'm talking about. The dude with the slightly receding hairline keeps it real short? Oh, no. I don't think that's the guy that I... You're talking see. about him. Yep. Okay. That's the guy I know. That was the guy's, like... Replacement? Not replacement. He was his basically, like, his partner. Okay. Grant Thompson was the original guy who started that YouTube channel. He's oh, dead. Oh, okay. He died in a paragliding accident. That's a fucking way to go. <laughs> or it was either that, it, it was para, he was in the air, he was flying yeah. in the air. Like a fucking man. Yeah, like a man. Dude. Mark Rover wouldn't do that shit. Grant Thompson. <laughs> Don't say that as a way to deconstruct his character. Mark Rober <laughs> is a little bitch. I he will pay rockets. money to watch Mark Rober hit you in the face. I would pay money to watch Mark Rober monkey or er, fucking <laughs> flying squirrel suit himself into a cliffside. <laughs> but he won't I love do you, that. Mark. But he wouldn't do that because he's a little pussy ass little bitch. Mark, please collaborate with me. <laughs> Fuck you, Mark Rober. <laughs> I love you. Russ is just a hate. He's a hateful person. <laughs> he's what the Sith lords would cream their jeans over it yeah I'm the hate fucking, flows through him i'm anakin skywalker but i love it when i get sand in my britches <laughs> okay so so what i'm anakin the, hot right now he is anakin hot he's not lukewarm he's no. past that fuck so how do we <laughs> how do we get past this we don't how can mark make this right quit youtube Start MythBusters on the Discovery Channel again, or join Myth Bu- MythBusters. Are they still active? It that. I think they keep going. I don't know. There, there I was follow a, Adam Savage is tested. Which yeah, is he's not amazing. on there anymore, though. What? Yeah, he's not on MythBusters anymore. Adam Savage, as far as Why? I know, I know Jamie's not. I, I don't think Adam is anymore. They left a long time ago. They grew out of that shit. And good for them. I mean, yeah, I, I'm not gonna. I applaud them for their development as people. Like, there's nothing wrong with that. But also. I love their personalities. Mm-hmm. They they may not have gotten along the entire time. They may have had different ways of approaching situations. Here, but they actually, handle it here's in a such good a ras- rationalization. Because I'm the irrational one. <laughs> Mark <laughs> Rober. The difference between William Osman and Mark Rober. William Osman okay. made a salsa maker with a used garbage disposal, and he showed you how he did it. Mm-hmm. 
like a week after his house burned down. It is very well known, and he makes it well known. He has no money, but he's doing these things for you because you enjoy watching them. Mark Rober makes a point to go, I'm using this equipment you can't afford to make this thing you have no business doing. But if you want to know how, check out fucking Skillshare. That's all his videos are. It's showing off instead of teaching. And if he wants to be an educational science or engineering channel, he should actually try instead of doing something without us seeing it. He's done three different live streams that I'm personally aware of that actually do that exactly. Sure, not everybody watches these. (laughs) William Osmond has a hundred hits of him doing bullshit for fun, whereas Mark Rober does these giant blockbuster projects that take months to do. And in between... Wait, are you telling me that the egg drops take months to do? I'd be furious. No, <laughs> uh, sorry. William Osmond <laughs> is doing these bullshit projects for fun that don't take a lot of money, budget, or whatever. And yeah, he's doing yeah, it for yeah. fun that you could do right now. Mark That's Rober yeah. has these giant projects that take months to do. And in between those uploads, all he puts up is, watch me make fucking cornstarch in water or whatever. Or I'm going to throw this goo in my pool. Look, Orbeez or whatever else. Hot knife challenge. Like, that's all he does is either what's popular on YouTube or his big thing he's been planning, i.e. the package scammers. Have you seen Steven Mould? No. Oh, I think you'd like it. I think we're like, our YouTube Venn diagrams are crossing right now. Well, I mean, we have the same YouTube Venn diagrams. I just have a I, lot I think of our, hate YouTube in Our mind. YouTube Venn diagrams are pretty much an eclipse. <laughs> just with the fringe shit. Just yeah. not exactly lining up. And that's okay. Um, like, you watch Super Mega, and I really could not get into that. Oh, dude, I love it. I think they they are what we turn into at a full moon. I mean, it just it, it there was too much the parallels and nonsense going on. The parallels are going to be made, <laughs> especially <laughs> once the gameplay stuff comes on. <laughs> it's yeah, going to be it's bad. Just, it's going to be it's uncomfortable. Just, it's just YouTube is not a place for Mark Rober. He takes away from other people that are on on that platform. Are you saying that he doesn't seem sincere? Is that what the, no, the big thing he, is? It's YouTube's not a place for people who already have the dough. YouTube is a grind, and if you're Tell not Jimmy Kimmel that. <laughs> Yeah, that's another <laughs> fucking thing. But, like, that's a problem that even Mark Rober would agree with. Yeah. But if fucking self-made people, like Vsauce. Oh, uh, what was something in Caitlyn? Uh, God, I love them. They, they have r- this fetish with resin. They always just, like, make everything resin. If that's all they're doing all the time, fine. But if they only no, upload no, 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 a few no. resin videos when resin's really cool, when everybody's looking at resin videos on they're Facebook... They're going to make resin videos when we're in the fucking that's grave. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> that's cool. But when you only make hot knife videos or million degree knife videos and you're not doing it because it's hilarious and you're making fun of other people that do it and you're just doing it to get kids to watch you, you're not worth my time. And whatever big project you have in store, it's not interesting to me. Because what you're doing is you're stealing from children and making them watch mindless ads about the newest Nissan with mid-rolls for a 10-minute video of you not teaching these children how to do the things you're doing in engineering. But you're telling these children to ask their parents to sign you up for Lisa.com or Skillshare.com or the Discovery Channel Plus app. If he heard you, blink twice. I will handle this. Did he touch you? No. He just... (laughs) Russell, did he touch you? Mark Rober and people of his kind on YouTube are the problem (laughs) with YouTube. Jimmy Kimmel and the talk shows, that's a different thing. Yeah. At least they exist. No, it's not equally a problem. Uh, I'm saying it's It's also a a problem. It's fucking bananas and cornflakes or whatever the saying is it's uh i've never heard that in my life it's not (laughs) they're completely two completely separate things they coincide being that they're both issues on youtube for but at least jimmy kimmel stephen colbert fucking that fat guy that does musicals on late night and also has a late night show and is from the uk at least they already exist on 
a different network medium. television. Yeah. They're just short clips are being uploaded. Mark Rober <sighs> solely exists on YouTube, and he doesn't need to. He should have a deal with Discovery Channel. I'd watch a shit on Discovery Channel. I don't like him. And that's my take. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. <laughs> that's such a hot take. I haven't been convinced either. I, think I wasn't trying to convince you. <laughs> yeah. You did a shit job if that was the case. But, uh, like, I I just have to respect it and walk away. Yeah. Like, and Guys, here is what you need to take away. That's okay. I don't need to ruin it's okay a to be, friendship it's okay to be, over something that doesn't make sense to me. It's fine to be irrationally <laughs> angry about nothing that doesn't matter. It's gonna fucking happen. Yeah. I don't like that there's a boot in the chicken McNugget shape. I'm gonna have to I go don't to like bed. like chicken McNuggets. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, <laughs> this changes things. <laughs> I <laughs> love the idea of chicken McNuggets. And those, I fucking used to love them. This isn't even a hot take. I just, I tried them within the last couple years. Uh, with an adult's palate? Yeah, and I was like, ew. <laughs> <laughs> like, there was no meat in there. It did, like, it was. Oh, yeah. That tempura it was type so, crust. It's yeah. so airy. It was so weird. Dude, I, I might pick that up on the way home. I, I stick with the Big Mac and the McChicken combined. The McGangbang? No, Wait, no, the McBigcock? Yeah, and yeah. that's a name that I came up with. That's a patent from Russ, specifically. Patent? That's a no, Russ. that is intellectual property from Russ. Created Russ off IP. of somebody else's inter- intellectual property, an actual legal patent. <laughs> no, <laughs> the McBigcock. Don't use that for money. Because that's my name, and he will see you in the motherfucker. <laughs> Actually, it's not even. No, it is. It is my name that I give that with. I, I just the first person I told it to was a actual coworker of ours. Yeah, <laughs> the one that had a rough day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This one, I'm I'm gonna take a drink for uh for the homie. <laughs> I'm uh, sorry, about Devin. <laughs> Devin got. The fucking shit today, because <laughs> he's trying to help me out too. That's the that's the worst part. Yeah, poor Devin. Sorry, Devin. Such a selfless man. Mm. <laughs> I mean, that's debatable. He's selfish on the outside, and he's the most gooey person on the inside. That's fair. All right. So, <clears throat> who's your favorite YouTuber that doesn't do anything anymore? I don't know what that means. For instance, Shoe Nice. Tobuscus. Shoe Nice. I've never, I've heard the name. Shoe Nice. I've never watched a single video. Shoe Nice will drink a whole bottle of shampoo. I think he's blocked on YouTube. <laughs> oh, I miss God. Toby Turner. Tobuscus is that the same person, right? Yeah. Why? What? What was cool? But he had a rape allegation or something like that, right? Yeah. And I, I don't That's know. That's sad. I don't know if it's real. I don't know if and it's not real. I don't care. The fucked up part is that we're never gonna know. Yeah. Because no. accusations are so powerful nowadays. And if it, again, I think I've said this on the podcast. If that, <sighs> if the allegations were true, which then we'll side with the right people. Absolutely. I fuck him. But, but the content that he created, exactly. As far as his content goes, it was so wholesome. Is that the dead babies guy or or something? What something babies? Dead what? I don't watch. Where are you right now? (laughs) This is the safety torch guy. I don't know what that is. Safety torch, put it on a porch. Safety torch. Is it yum yum babies? What the fuck are you talking about? I swear this is a thing. I my brain is coming up with alternate dimensions where this is just a thing. Oh my god. I know that we don't do this, but go to YouTube right now. Yeah. Because you just mentioned something just, absurd. Just, just give me a moment. Okay. I dropped my phone somewhere. <laughs> go and fill in while I'm looking for my phone. I got it. I'll put it up. I got the video. I got it. Uh, so we are going to be YouTubing and, and, sp- and, and cutting the video up a little bit. The video title is Cows Space. Cows Space. Cows.
I'm going to go pee in your house. Okay. I mean, you. all right. So cows, cows, cows. I have it pulled up. <laughs> and you're going to watch this video in full. And then in the edit, you can chop it up. Wait, do I need to react in real time? Yes. Is this the thing that, that multiplies into um, multiple cows? Have you already seen this? He has a thing. That's just the thing that he does. There's a specific artist that makes these. That's fine. It's I'm like asking Wozniak. you if you've already seen this video. Is it the nodding cows that multiplied? Yes. Yes, yes I've seen this. Fuck. Okay. So Adult Swim was my shit. Wait, that this was, was Adult it, Swim? Yeah. Like peaking real hard? It's like Andrew Wozniak or something like that. I don't, Steve Wozniak, the creator of Apple? I don't fucking know. <laughs> I've had so many drinks right now. <laughs> I am not to be held to any standard when it comes to... I didn't take any shots before the show. I'm proud of you. Do you want to do shots? Yes. Right now. It, immediately. Get it up. I have to jump a box. <laughs> what is in the way of you? <laughs> My giant cock? Exactly. And that's your fault. <laughs> <laughs> so, there's a specific artist... Um, adult Swim Artist Weird And hope, hopefully that'll Yeah Yeah but it's a, it's a bump series Um a bump is just where they fill the exact amount of time that they need to because TV schedules are really messy. Like, super, super messy. Hey, do you want to know what these cups are made out of? Crystal? Lead. Cool. <laughs> yeah, no. They're made out of lead. Lead crystal. I didn't know lead crystal was a fucking thing. I didn't either. That's we amazing. That a wedding present. So you were just given, like, a steel blender... Or a lead blender slash goblet that you just can't use? No, you can use them. What you do is if, like, you don't trust the source or something, uh, the way that the lead crystal is formed or whatever, it, uh, you put it in, <clears throat> you you basically soak them in vinegar for, like, a few hours. Before you use them every time? No, just, and then it seals whatever it needs to. For so how that the long? lead doesn't <laughs> seep out into the liquid forever. It's not a dangerous thing. It sounds dangerous. It's just not. Yeah, I've been conditioned to think that that's a death trap. Yeah, but my lead count is in the millions already, so. What does that mean? Because <laughs> the battery? Yeah. Do you know how much lead I huff on a weekly basis just from melting lead onto other lead for work? <laughs> no. Did you get it tested? I need to. I'm probably the weight that I've gained since starting that is probably all due to just lead in my blood. <laughs> Lead? I don't think that's the case. Do you know how lead works as far as like lead poisoning and stuff? I, as an informed, learned man, have no clue. <laughs> so I don't know like 100%, but what I do know is like lead poisoning isn't just like, you know, you ingest cyanide and it kills you. Lead poisoning, the way... I thought it just created a bunch of developmental issues. Well, the way that lead goes in, works in your body is it enters your system and then it gets into your bone and then it just stays there. You don't digest it. Like if you it just rests in your bones. Yeah, it builds up like calcium, but just just or like arsenic. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So like your lead count can't be decreased. So your lead count, the lead you ingest. What? Yeah, yeah. The lead, wait, lay this fucking on me real so, quick. Oh, what? So lead cannot be decreased. Like you can't expel it through pee or fecus. So. <clears throat> Minimal amounts, but the reason that lead kills you is because it builds up in your bones. So it like people bonds that, your blood or something. Yeah. So like that, you know, the early the first time that I learned that lead kills you, and I got scared because people called the thing in your pencils lead. You yeah. Know, uh, was in like elementary school, and it was. It's you, graphite, by the way, guys. Yeah. You're fine. Uh, but lead is a completely different element than graphite is too. Graphite is 100% carbon. <laughs> You're fine. But uh, 
lead is the way it, it was miners, people who were mining lead. Also, would, look up graphene because it's oh, badass. Fuck yeah! You can um, make. I could if I had a roll of tape, I could make it right now. Oh, got it. It's so cool. Anyway. And get a nerd boner. Anyway, anyway, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. The yeah. <clears throat> lead miners, people who were mining lead back in the 1800s, like yeah, in the dark Rush time or whatever, dank caves. Yeah, the fumes of just the mining in general would get into their system and then they'd die. The reason is, is because over time that lead builds up in your bones. So you breathe it. So say you breathe in oxygen, right? Or you breathe in carbon dioxide from the air that enters your lungs. The lo- your lungs take that and they put the oxygen part into your blood. And then you exhale carbon or well, carbon dioxide, but you exhale mostly carbon and whatever oxygen you couldn't process at that time in that breath, right? Two oxygens and one carbon. Yep. So the way that lead works, when you get lead fumes, you breathe it in. Mm -hmm. That lead gets distributed in your blood. What does blood do? It circulates around your body. And comes out of your bones. And Exactly. Yeah. So mm-hmm. your bones have something called marrow, which is built up through the process of what your blood does. Oh God. It's the way that your calcium is uh, increase and decrease. The problem with lead, though, is your body can't process lead. And so once it gets to the bone stage of your body, it just kind of... It's just st- locked in. It just gets stuck, and it just, it just sits there in your bones. And so then it decreases... I'm, that's kind of as far as I know. We're not doctors. No, don't quote me on this. But (laughs) I do know that your lead count really only goes up. Yeah. And so you just die. Fuck. Yeah. (laughs) And I work consistently. Around lead. Not just lead. Lead fumes. (laughs) So I was the guy. Like, I was the guy when it came to getting all up nasty and in intimately all the battery shit before you were hired on. Mm -hmm. So you were a saving grace probably in more ways than two. I'm probably fucked. (laughs) I may have taken like five years, maybe eight years off of my life, which I don't know that I want to live that long anyway. But geez. That is that is rough. Can is there a lead stripping process that you can get in to like rip it out of your bones? And also, is that safe? I bet you. I I bet you a million dollars. Someone's gonna the, fucking have me. Let's go do a cleanse. I'm gonna have to hold two crystals. No, I, I'm, like three I'm feet betting away from you. My face. It's radiation therapy. <laughs> so you rep- <laughs> you rep- you replace the lost marrow in your bones due to lead. You By replace, destroying the marrow. You, you replace it with radiation, which just melts your marrow. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, well, I'm, that's shitty. I'm looking. I'm googling what does lead do to your body, just to s- see if Google has a. Uh, it okay. just replies nothing good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. Like maybe let's do everything we can to not eat it or inhale it. Exposure to high levels of lead may cause anemia. That makes sense. Weakness and obviously kid and brain, kidney and kid, <laughs> kidney and brain damage. Very high lead exposure can cause death. Lead can cross the placental barrier, which means pregnant Fuck women who are exposed with lead also expose unborn child to lead. That obviously makes sense. Lead can damn it, that doesn't tell me. I I've read this somewhere. I've heard it somewhere that it just it goes to your bones and kind of just stays there. All right, let's take a shot for that. Fuck yeah. To fuck lead. Lachaim. <laughs> that's Jaeger. That's, uh, I that's, love uh, the that's taste of liquid, liquid anise. Licorice. Yep. I just looked in anise. My grandpa, my maternal grandpa. Yeah. The two candies that he always keeps. You know how old people keep candies, right? Yeah. The two candies that they don't he, eat them themselves. Yeah, the two candies he's always got is Red Hots, nice, and a bag of black licorice. A bag? Yeah, like you go to like like a pound bag of black, licorice. like a Kirkland bag, <laughs> yes, of black licorice cut into little bite-sized pieces that he snacks on. <laughs> 
So he actively eats it. That means that your your maternal grandmother has to continually keep purchasing. <laughs> Dude, their candy, uh, their candy cash, if you will, is yeah. insane. Like, so my paternal grandparents are like the spoil grandparents. Yeah, and my maternal grandparents were the. I don't want to diss them because they're. Yeah, it's not. A pro- they can. Be, I mean, you can be a good person. And be there's frugal nothing. And I, I'm not. I'm not trying to say anything negative about them. Just my paternal grandparents fucking spoiled us. My maternal grandparents, my mom's parents. Paternal or maternal? Maternal. Okay. My mom's parents didn't spoil us. They just were grandparents. It, and in the relationship, instead of being like coddled from birth, the relationship between me and like my mom's mom has only gotten just amazing over time. Yeah. Like, I'm so close to my, my grandma on my mom's side just because of, like, I lived with them every weekend for my senior year because I worked in their, in the town they lived in. Uh, the one thing that they had that my mom, that my dad's parents never really did, like, they did have tons of candy and, like, sweets and everything, but the one thing that grandma and grandpa on my mom's side had was, Literally the cabinet above their stove. Like you've seen the cabinet above my stove, right? You know, like the setup. I've not looked in it, but I'm aware of it. Yeah, yeah like the you know, tiny the, the little size. square little. Yeah, like two, yeah. like there's two square cabinet doors. Yeah. So instead of squares, rectangles of the same ratio, right? So it'd be two. You know what I'm saying? So it it'd be basically four squares instead of the two, right? Okay. But yeah, yeah. There are two of them, right? Right. So that's four. Sections vertical for you listeners. Yes, vertical, <laughs> full of candy. <laughs> Jesus. But on long trips, the only thing that we had to eat was bologna, water, black licorice, and red hots. <laughs> <laughs> Just like a round slice of bologna. Yeah, like it was always something <laughs> hilarious. Like so, because like they would come down here for Ugh. my my grand. They would come down south. Make yeah. the trip down south to New Mexico. Because so were that's both where your folks uh, in Wisconsin beforehand? They both grew up around, basically. My dad was an army brat. My mom was a preacher brat. Okay. <laughs> so they, 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 could, met they never Wisconsin. put roots down. No, they met in Wisconsin, but they were bo- both born. My dad was born in Oklahoma. My mom was born in New Mexico. Okay. Uh, my mom spent most of her life in wisconsin my dad spent most of his life anywhere but somewhere <laughs> <laughs> but uh I as like far how as that makes perfect sense goes, yeah yeah but uh as far like so my grandparents on my mom's side every year every summer go down to new mexico for my grandma's family reunion on their way back up they'd pick me and my brothers up from my grandparents house on my dad's side okay and take us back home because we we would take a summer trip every week every summer for two weeks down here, and sometimes my parents weren't able to go because of work. We would always stay in a Motel Six, or a Super Eight, or something like that, a yeah. single bed. So wait, did you did you break out the sleeping bags? Uh, we'd get dude. A, I love sleeping. A in lot sleeping of time bags. we'd get a roll away, and okay, it, and it's it's not because they're cheap, it's because they're fucking amazing they're not gonna listen to this so but like i uh, but i don't want to disparage them at all like my grandpa at the drop of a hat would pick me up from school if i needed to go home yeah he for free tiled every wall in my parents kitchen (laughs) one week because my mom just asked him to like we we just just had Amazing grandparents. Yeah. So and, and but, that's what you listeners need to take away from this episode. But if they, you fucking talk shit on my grandparents, <laughs> I will find each and every one of you and I will shit in your mailbox. <laughs> this is not a threat. I'll put a dead animal in your mailbox. A dead dead animal. Dead in life physically and dead because it's i spirit. fucked it to death yeah exactly and we are cheap so we'll share a car ride so it's gonna happen at once and it's an a double animal <laughs> i don't want to share an animal with you you can get can the I have mouth my own? i'll get the butt okay all right we'll figure that out 
This is demonetized. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. It started demonetized. Can we record a third episode? <laughs> no. <laughs> At some point, we're going to get to a third. <laughs> We need to record. I'm crying right now. <laughs> <laughs> How long are we in the tooth here? We're seven past. Seven past an hour? Yeah. That means we got 53 more minutes. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> well, we I'll wrap it up by saying it's a 14 and a half hour car trip from here to Skansen to mom and dad's house. And they chose to make that trip every summer. Uh, yeah, well, I mean, they go to New Mexico, which is even further. But when they're picking us up, we would get in their minivan. <laughs> you know they fucked in that minivan. Right? You're aware of that? My heart <laughs> is exploding with just a feeling I don't like having. I, I can appreciate that. And they just... It's, it's sandwiches... Sometimes some pickles, red hots, and, and black licorice. Yep. <laughs> and that, I'm going to write that down, is going to be a t-shirt. Black licorice or what? Red hots and black licorice. <laughs> and with that, we thank you, everybody. If we see you in public wearing a red hots and black licorice shirt, I will personally high five you and you will be the first person I'll to see my dick. face. Well, there we go. <laughs> you won't realize that we are the hosts of this podcast until we high five you, and then also you and are filleted against suck Will. Suck your dick. <laughs> oh God, we love you guys so much. All right, you are a good sport. Follow us on the grams on Twitster. Well, that's still alive. Follow, Follow us, us on Patreon. On anything. Look up the Chill Prism Podcast. Please send mail because I want you to just abuse the shit email out of Email me, man. Email the shit out of e- Russ right now. Email my email. That's our primary business email. Chill so he Prism has to look. Pod at gmail.com. He doesn't get a say in the matter. That's negligence on his part. I can fire him. He can fire me, and then I can go, well, this is my intellectual property. <laughs> we he... can have a dispute over <laughs> the fact that he doesn't read this. Because we have absolutely no legal recourse because there's no signed documentation. Love you guys. So send me an email. Give me a suggestion. What should we talk about next week or the week after or therefore of and etc.? Some... Send in some segment uh, clips. Send go ahead and some make your... fucking ideas. Yeah, fucking keep this going. Make Let's make this horny. a community-based thing. Make me horny for fun. Not yeah, just tease him. Edge the shit out of edge him. Edge the shit out of my fun bone. <laughs> love you guys. I love you.